Everyone's heard of Boom Supersonic and now even Hermes. But their super hyped up mega fast aircraft will only be allowed to fly super or even hypersonically over oceans because their sonic booms are just too loud and sometimes even destructive to those of us on the ground. That is quite the limiter considering most air travel takes place over land. What if there was a supersonic airliner that produced almost no boom at all, rather a thump? Just like what NASA is trying to achieve right now? Meet Exosonic. This company is trying to make the world's first genuine sonic thump passenger airliner. And in addition to going a bit faster than boom, it'll be able to fly over land. Exosonic is an American aircraft startup that is purportedly developing the world's first quiet boom supersonic passenger airliner. The company was founded in 2019 by Norris Tai and Tim McDonald, who met at Stanford. The startup today has already raised a few million and, in fact, are already ground testing subscale models of their planned UAV called Revenant. But the ultimate goal of Exosonic is to create the world's first sonic thump producing plane for the flying public. Their business plan is similar to that of Hermes. UAVs first, commercial airplanes later down the line. In order to achieve a sonic thump, the design Exosonic has thus far created is a bit different from the looks of competitor Boom, where Exosonic has a much longer and pointier nose, which plays a vital role in minimizing pressure disturbances, just like NASA's X-59. Exosonic is also trying to design wings that specifically help dissipate air pressure at high speeds, more efficiently spreading out air molecules and therefore softening the shock waves and their loud sounds. One thing that Boom and Exosonic do have in common is their use of four semi-conventional turbofan engines. As such, the engines won't be using any kind of afterburners, which further contributes to the reduction of the plane's noise. Exosonic's engineers are truly aiming to make the supersonic airliner a reality, utilizing advanced CFD SIMs on high-performance off-site AWS Rescale servers. Exosonic has the backing of a handful of investors, including the likes of Y Combinator. Through these avenues, the company has already raised over $4 million. In addition, they've also received in total $2 million from the U.S. Air Force partly because Exosonic has piqued the Air Force's interest as a possible executive airlift platform in the future, aka a potential Air Force One. But baby steps first. Exosonic hopes to have its full-scale UAV prototype undergoing flight tests in 2025. And with luck, Exosonic will later bring in a new era of omnidirectional supersonic passenger travel. Who do you think has a better chance of succeeding? Boom? Exosonic? Maybe even Hermes? Let us know your thoughts, and we'll see you next time.